Hello my friends, it's Gabriel with The Last Huntsman Outdoors here. So today I'm going to be doing a two for one review. And what I got here is both the Adler Rhineland Hatchet and the Adler Canoe Axe. So we're going to check both of these out, try them both out, and I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion on them both. So stay tuned. All right, here we have both the Adler Rhineland Hatchet and the Canoe Axe. So right off the bat, both of these actually has the same size head on them. It's made of uh, C60 steel. Both of them are made in Germany, as you guys can see there. Both of them are obviously hickory wood. They both actually kind of have this rubberized bottom on here. This one, I got it wrapped up in goon tape. I'm kind of experimenting with that. And both of them have basically the same construction. Both kind of have that uh, Scandinavian type of construction. And they both have a uh, pretty decent leather sheath, which we'll go over later. But let's try these axes out. I'm going to start off with the uh, canoe axe. I'm just going to do some delimbing here. Not bad, not bad at all. Got the Rhineland hatchet. Gonna do just a little bit of delimbing here. right into the dirt but it happens sometimes all right and while speaking of the adler rhineland hatchet and the canoe axe uh i wanted to kind of give you guys some comparisons to some of my other axes here so you know here's the rhineland hatchet next to the hardcore hammer supernaturalist and then i have the adler canoe axe next to the condor cloudburst the cold steel um uh, what is that the uh hudson bay here's my holtzbruck i think it's like the hunting axe or forester's axe or something i can't remember the exact model and then here's the uh beavercraft universal axe but just kind of giving you guys some size comparisons of the adler axes all right i'm gonna fell this small tree here with the uh canoe axe <sighs> One branch here trying to get in my way. Not bad. Right now that I just used the uh, canoe axe to fell it, I used the Rhineland hatchet to deal in it. Right. 
obviously we're doing an axe review, so we're gonna do some chopping, starting off with the uh, Rhineland hatchet. Has a decent bite to it. Now I will say, I touched up the edge. The edges on these, out of the box, I would say it was not exactly the best, but it wasn't too terribly difficult to put a decent edge. Let's try the uh, canoe axe. All right, gonna do a little bit heavier chopping here. I'm just gonna use the canoe axe for this because this is a little beyond what the hatchet can handle. All right, we're just gonna do some quick little chopping here. Not proving a whole lot, but showing these guys and use. I actually like the shape of these. This is the Rhineland hatchet. The Rhineland hatchet, I personally kind of wish that they're just maybe about that much longer length to it. I wish there was just a bit more girth to the base of the handle. I'm personally finding that I almost prefer the canoe axe. Even for this, I could still easily one hand it. It just has that like really good, what I would consider bushcrafty type of axe use. It's long enough that I can still two hand it but still I could one hand it pretty decently. I don't care what the internet says because quite frankly, most of the internet doesn't real life. There we go. Try that again. Once I got it split the first time, it's not too terribly difficult. In cedar, it's obviously a soft wood but when it's real knotty like that honestly i could find that sometimes cedar is harder to split than even oak it just kind of depends and i personally wouldn't even think of trying to use the hatchet the hatchet i just don't think has enough ass behind it try I'm trying to balance a piece here on this non-flat log is not exactly easy there we go if i could actually hit it kind of nice there we go all right got another little piece here this one just has one big knot in it i don't think it'll be as hard to split as that other one but i'm going to try using the hatchet here A decent little split off of there. Try it again. Actually, get that angle maybe. If I could actually kind of hold it up. I'm even seeing a technique that's kind of interesting. I use like another stick to kind of hold it while using the hatchet. I'm not so sure how good I am with that. There we go. So the hatchet's not too bad at splitting with smaller stuff. All right, so another thing we're gonna talk about is the sheets. 
for these or the mask whatever you want to call them so they are a decent nice looking leather they got a little strap on there they kind of just click in there and actually these will inter swap with each other because they use the exact same head but then it has a secondary little snap and overall i don't mind it sometimes the head gets kind of caught on the secondary snap as you're trying to pull it out but not really a big deal i don't really i don't really put too much thought on an axe sheath that much as long as it just covers up the blade but it's nice having some leather all right i'm not gonna make this video too long here there's only really so much you can do with reviewing an axe which is basically just chopping things and splitting things and chopping things so what's my overall opinion on the adler rhineland hatchet and the adler canoe axe so i bought personally bought the rhineland hatchet and then i got talking to adler and they were nice enough to send me the canoe axe but as always i try to keep things honest with you guys so I will say straight up, I like these, okay? But I will also say that I think the Rhineland hatchet, it's just, it's kind of an awkward weight and size, in all honesty. Uh, as you guys seen, I compared these to a lot of other axes that I have. And this one, it's just, I feel like the balance is just a little awkward so in my personal opinion i feel like they either need to kind of extend this handle about another inch or two kind of add a little bit of extra hep down here to utilize this head on here or what i'd almost suggest doing to keep it this size is i would actually slim down this head just some and just kind of take a little bit of the weight off and stuff like that and I feel like this would be a little bit easier to use. So that's my opinion of the Rhineland hatchet. The canoe axe, I actually like the canoe axe even more. I, I feel like for like a bushcrafter or a guy going out on a hunting trip that's more of a primitive hunting trip or something like that, this would actually be a great axe size just because it's still small enough that it's easy to pack but yet it's big enough that it can do some some more serious work i wouldn't really start trying to chop things down that's much bigger than like four or five inches but you know that's kind of outside of this thing's uh size range but it can still do a lot of stuff around camp it could still do some splitting uh it can chop decently and I actually like it just because I feel like I can still use this one-handed decently and get two hands on it. In all honesty, I feel like this is more comfortable to one hand than even this is, which is kind of weird to say since this one's smaller. I just feel like there's just kind of an awkward balance with this. However, the canoe axe is really awesome and I like it. Um, one thing that I would like to have seen with these out of the box is these, both of these actually did not exactly have the best edge on them. So it wasn't like too big of a deal. I took my ax puck and, and touched up the edge a little bit, reprofiled them a little bit and all that good stuff. I would have liked to have seen the edge a little bit nicer out of the box. But that being said, both of these are like sub hundred dollars. I think I got i think you could pick these up for like 70 bucks on amazon 60 or 70 bucks so uh that's actually a pretty nice deal that's cheaper than even my condor and in a lot of ways i think these are a little bit nicer put together than even like my condor um one other thing that i probably would have liked to have seen with these is these are hardened towards the edge and then softer towards the back here and I I know a lot of the like axe purist likes that because that's kind of more of a traditional way to do an axe. I personally would have rather seen them harden these all the way through just so you could actually use the back end for like a hammer, kind of like the uh, hardcore hammers. And so 
I think that would have made that like more of like a decent survival tool. Now, granted, you could always hammer with this on like wood and stuff, but they suggest not using it on nails and more, you know, other metal things. I personally would like to have seen them harden these all the way through though, but that's just my opinion. But overall, I like these Adlers. I think they're pretty cool. I lean on the canoe axe, definitely. So if I had to pick one between these two, definitely the canoe axe. But with all that being said, be prepared both physically and spiritually. God bless and carry on.